Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to log into department servers. For this, you need to open terminal or the command prompt and type ssh space your username, which will be your e number. For this, I'll be using my account and then at the server name. For this demonstration, I will be using icon. Then press enter and there will be a prompt for your password. The password won't be visible here but it will be typed and then press enter. Then you will be logged into the server. Here you can see some information about the server and some tutorials and documentation. Uh, you can read them later. Uh, now you are in the server and all you are doing up from this point will be done on the server. So first I will show some basic commands. To clear the screen we can type clear and press enter. Um, so let's create a directory. For this you can type mkdir space and the directory name let's say co225. Now uh, let's see what other directories we have. For this we can type ls and press enter. So we can see some names here. So from to get more details about this we can type ls space l. So we can see uh, these are directories we can see the d here uh, and this is the directory we just created now. To go inside the directory we can type cd space the directory name co225 now we are inside the directory uh, to go back from the to the pre previous place we can type cd space dot and dot now again we are at the very starting place so we can go back inside the folder let's clear the screen so let's create a file here for this you can use vim space the file name now we can type some so for that we can press i and then type the file as you want so let's create a c program To save this, press escape, W and Q. So let's run this one. For that you type gcc space dash o output file name space the input file name. Now let's run this program for this. As you can see the program works so let's delete these files for that we can type rm space the file name uh, now let's delete the c file as well as you can see there are no files anymore so this has been a very small tutorial I'll make sure to add some more tutorials more documentation on basic Linux commands. Thank you.